Good afternoon. This is a, a major blow to the nation of Kenya. We have lost Joyce Laboso, a great lady in our nation, a strong fighter for justice and freedom. She has stood firm ever since she joined the world of politics, following the tragic death of her sister, Lorna. And she has all the time stood on the side of the right. She has again fallen victim of cancer. Just this week alone, we have buried about five people who have died of cancer. I visited Joyce in a hospital in London about um, six weeks ago. Then she was strong. Um, she was in a little pain, but we could have a very good conversation. But ten days ago, when I went to see her at the ICU at uh, Nairobi Hospital, she had completely changed. And she could see she was in pain, terrible pain. So um, I think that this has released her from pain. It is a big blow to the people of Bomet and the nation at large that we have lost at this critical time. At this moment, we all stand in solidarity with our family, family of Dr. Bonio, who have had to endure this for this long period of time when she was suffering. Uh, we will stand with them and more will be said in the future. But the entire nation of Kenya is in mourning. It is very sad indeed. Thank you. To my Poteza, Mama Joyce Laboso, Ambaya Lekwa ni Mojawetu, Ye ni Mama Ambaya Mefanya Kazi Kwa Bidi Kabisa, Alisimamia Uhaki Kwa Tika Taifaletu, Tango Lipungia Katika Bongo. Na mtazamaji huyo ni kinara wa NASA Raila Odinga kitoa risali za karambarambi kwa kumpoteza daktari Joyce Cherono Lavoso ambaye ni gavana wa Bomet na hapo unasikia kwamba natakuwa tumesema hapo wale alikuwa amemtembelea katika hospitali ya Uingereza hmm. wiki sita zilizopita na alikuwa mcheshi na alikuwa na furaha licha ya kuwa kwa uchungu au kuwa na maumivu alikuwa na matumaini kwamba atapona lakini anasema wiki moja zilizopita au wiki mbili amemtembelea na mambo yalikuwa yamebadilika hmm. na alikuwa na uchungu mwingi sana kuonyesha tu makali ya saratani yalikuwa menea katika yeah, mwili wake. Mm -hmm. Raila Odinga vile vile anasema kwamba kifo cha Laboso kimepokonya taifa la Kenya uh, viongozi au kiongozi ambaye alijitolea kwa hali na mali kuwatumikia wananchi wa Kenya na vile vile wakazi wa kaunti ya Bomet Raila anasema kwamba uh, ari ya Laboso ya kuweza kusukuma mbele gurudumu la wanawake kupata nafasi ya uongozi eh, imepata matatizo mepata uh, matatizo kidogo lakini anaamini kwamba uh, yale ambayo aliacha na bila shaka sifa ambazo alikuwa kizipigania wanawake wengi wataweza kuzikumbatia na kuendeleza mbele mapambano ya kupata nafasi zaidi katika safu za uongozi ndani na nje ya serikali humo nchini mpenzi mtazamaji tunataka kwenda moja kwa moja katika kaunti ya Uasingishu katika mji wa Eldoret tusikie na wananchi wanazungumziaje tunaye mwandishi wetu Gabriel Kudaka Kudaka habari hizi zimewafikia vipi wananchi wa Eldoret Asante sana mama zangu uh, swale kufuatia kifo cha gavana wa Bomet Joyce Laboso ambacho kimeingia siku chache tu baada ya kifo cha mbunge Kibra Kenneth Peter Kenneth uh, Ken Okoth Samahani wenyeji hapo wamestika sana kifo hicho cha um, gavana Laboso na haya ni baadhi ya maoni yao kuhusu kifo hicho je mnapokaje kifo cha habari za kifo cha uh, gavana Joyce Laboso oh, Asante sana We we are so much saddened as people of Wasingishu and Kenya at large kwa sababu kifo cha Laposo imekuwa ongezo la pigo kwa serikali 
na pia piko kwa wananchi wa Kenya kwa sababu kifo nyingi inamaanisha kuna shida lakini tunasema pole kwa watu wa Bomet na tunaambia Mungu awasaidie na pia familia ya Laposo muweze kufumilia na kujua tu haya ni mambo ya Mungu so tunasimama na watu wa Bomet okay. ndugu na unajipokeja habari hizi kifo cha Bomet cha gavana Bomet mimi nasikitika sana na jambo lenye nitazoambia ni kwamba pole kwa familia lakini kansa naweza sema kuwa kansa imekuwa kero kwa sisi katika taifa la Kenya. Kitu ambacho mimi ningependa kama mbunge tumeangalia wabunge wanatumia ugonjwa wa kansa imewaadhiri sana. Mimi kitu ningesema kwamba mbunge anatumia milioni moja kwa mwezi mmoja. Je, sisi watu ambao ni raia wa chini, inabidi wabunge wapitishe sheria kwamba kwa hospitali tukienda raia wa chini, tutumie angalau hera kidogo mswada ambao utatusaidia sisi raia. Asante. Wewe okay. unapokeja una habari hizo? Okay, kwanza kabisa kwa majina naitwa Bernard Ngicho Mkaji wa Eldoret. Ningependa kutoa rambi rambi rangi zangu kwa watu wa Kibra ambao wamepoteza mheshimiwa yao Kendo Koth, pia watu wa Bomet ambao wamepoteza mheshimiwa la Bosho. Uh, kero la jambo la kansa Kenya imekuwa ni kubwa sana. Na serikali lazima ikuje haraka iweze kusaidia wananchi wa Kenya kwa sababu hili jambo la ugonjwa wa kansa imekuwa very common. Na kwa kabisa tunajiuliza hapa chini ya kwamba kama mheshimiwa wezi miwa wetu wanaweza kufa kivo je wananchi ambao ni sisi ambao hatuna mwelekeo um, tuna yani hatuna msaada ambao tunaweza pata kuenda hospitali kubwa kubwa kama wazimewa wanaenda je tutafanyaje so serikali lazima wakuje na jambo la kutatua maneno la kanza Kenya asante unapokeaje kifo cha gavana la Boso uh, kwa machine anaitwa Alfred Kimeli mimi ni mmoja wa vijana wa kaunti ya Wazingishu. Uh, Tumesikitika sana kwa kusikia kifo cha Kafana Joyce Laposo, uh, Kafana Pomet. Sisi kama vijana wa Wazingishu tungeomba serikali waingilie kati na waone ugonjwa huu wa kansa kuwa na waingie asua serikali ya Jubilee. Watangaze eh, ugonjwa wa ya kansa ikuwe national disaster. Na wa, waamuru ama waombe msaada kutoka mataifa mengine ambao wameesa kwa kukidhi hizi ugonjwa wa kansa. Uh, jambo la pili ni kwamba ukiona ugonjwa wa kansa ni kama kama uh, we, watu wakubwa kama le, governors uh, MBs ambao wana, wanaangamia kwa ugonjwa wa kansa kuna pia watu wa maskini wa hale kwenye kitengo cha chini ambao wanapata kipato cha chini tungomba serikali pia wa, waongeze katika uh, uh, mradi yao ya national uh, insurance cover kama NHIF waongeze katika uh, uh, mradi ndio waweze kusaidia wale wagonjwa wa, 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 wa kipato cha chini kwa, kwa saa hii tunaangalia tunaangazia kama kafa na kama choice la poso lakini tuchue kwamba kuna wale wagonjwa ambao wanakufa lakini hatuwezi tukaona lakini ni wengi saa hii hata ukiona uh, kuna watoto ambao wanasalia wakiona ugonjwa wa kansa aswa tunaomba serikali ya jubilee wa uchukulie ugonjwa wa kansa kama ugonjwa hatari sana kwenye taifa letu na waikise e, 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 madaktari wengine kama kama taifa kama Marekani kama India ambao walete vifaa vya kansa sikuje karibu na wanawainji asante sana asante